Hey guys, welcome to another real time edit. I have this backlit image of a northern perula I just took recently, and I want to show you how I'm going to edit this photo. So, this one's very unique in that this is one of the best ones I have of a northern perula showing the breath as it's singing. It was a real cold morning, and I shot it backlit on purpose just to show that. So, I have that one, and then the next image in the sequence, the breath floated out a little better. So my goal right now is to actually combine the breath so I have a little bit more in the air to really show that, that kind of effect there. And then secondarily, this huge mossy stump thing that was in the foreground here just dominates the photo, which I really don't like because you know I have a somewhat smaller perch and then the you know tiny little northern perula. And so this is just overwhelming. So I want to clean that up. So first things first, I'm just going to lighten it a little. Uh, well, maybe not lighten. Let me bring it back to original exposure. But warm it. Less magenta. The white balance was a little funky there. Something like that. Bring the shadows up. Blacks back down. Let me get some contrast going there. And I think that looks pretty good and pretty true to how I saw it. Got a little lens flare wash going over the bottom here. Not that big a deal, though. I kind of dig that because I don't have it at least strong right over top of the bird. That's pretty clear. So composition-wise, oops, hit the wrong button. Um, I think I'm going to do something a little different, because if I go just straight vertical with this, it feels a little off balance to me. So I think I'm going to do something I rarely do, which is go off proportion with this image. I almost always keep things 2 by 3 as the original capture. But I think for this one, I might actually just go kind of rogue with it here. And something like that feels pretty well balanced, I think. I think imagining this not being there, I think that will feel pretty good space-wise. I don't love how square it is now, though. So maybe I'll just go a little taller. Yeah, that feels a little bit better. Yeah, that feels a little better to me. It's just less squarish. I don't know. I don't like square. Anyway, on to the next image. I'm going to bring the previous settings over. Uh, let's see. That crop is more that way. So let me shift it. Just try and get it closer to a line here. That one's still further that way. Not that it has to be perfectly aligned here at all. All right, I'm going to select both of these and go into Photoshop with them. Okay, so here's my main one with it singing. And then I'm just going to grab this layer, drop it on over there. Just real quick, line these up. I'm just going to line up the perch here since I know that didn't move. There we go. And then mask that out. I'm just going to bring the breath together here. So I can see both at first in one shot here. And I'm going to put it on lighten. Oops, wrong one. Uh, lighten blending mode. Mm, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Lighten works pretty good. So that way I don't have to worry about that. Because uh, here's normal. See how it like makes that dark spot. Um, but lighten just shows the new breath. So there we go kind of blend those two together. Now I have a little bit more breath coming out there and I dig that. So I'm going to merge that down. I'm just going to clone this sucker out. So on a new layer here, I think I'll just try and follow the, the line of the, um, the sort of wash here from the lens flare. Thankfully, I just have a nice smooth, easy background here with which to grab from. Just kind of keep things going uh, easy there. I don't have to worry about texture or patterns or any of that stuff. Just all I got to do is kind of blend thing in, blend things in back there. And that looks pretty darn good. While I'm back here and or doing all this now, I'm going to just kind of smooth out that one dark band going through there because I'm already doing a heavy edit here. So why not clean it all up, right? Like I like some of the variation back there, but just wanted to clean that up a little bit. Now I got to clean up the bird from what I did there and the perch.
There we go. That takes care of that. And then I'll just bring this in right back to the edges here. Sorry for this part. This is always the boring part, this detailed masking crap. But you got to be accurate with it if you're going to do it. You don't want to leave like weird halos or anything like that, you know. That's one thing that I feel like a lot of people that are trying to do heavy edits, which I, as you see, don't have a problem with. Um, if you don't get real precise with these masks and or selection methods, like whatever you're doing, then it just kind of, it shows, you know, like you can see the edit and that's not ideal. That being said, when I share this photo, I'm certainly going to disclose that I took a huge chunk out of this side because if I don't, I feel that's pretty misleading and not honest, you know, uh, I'll, I'm also going to share that I added the additional piece of breath. So, um, that looks really good. So now I'm going to start working with some contrast here. So I like that overall, except it just got a little too rich and dark on the bird there. So I'm just going to back off of that a little bit, although I kind of liked it right where it is supposed to be black here because I was losing some of that contrast and around the eye itself right that was supposed to be good let's enhance the catch light just going to use a curves adjustment layer to do that just pop that catch light a little bit there we go and then the one last thing i'm going to do is just darken the overall background slightly and add some contrast to that but i don't want that color to get enhanced so i'm going to leave that blending mode on luminosity and then i'm going to just paint out the bird so I should have saved my earlier selection. That would have saved me some time here, but uh, I can be a little bit rougher and quick with this. I'll get the beak in just a second with uh, color range selection and same thing around the, the rim light edge there. I'm not going to be precise on that because I'll just use a color range selection to grab that. So there we go, doing that pretty quick. Let's fill that in. That's good. Now I'll add the color range part to it. We'll grab that and that and the white back there. Lower that a little bit. Lower that fuzziness. And there we go. Now I can paint that in perfectly all around the edge there. And we should be pretty well detailed. Just make sure everything's connected. There we go. All right, so that should, in theory, just, there we go, slightly darken the background just to make the bird stand out a little bit more. Um, and then I really like this lens flare across the bottom so I want to accentuate that so I'm just going to actually burn the top a little bit more as soon as the computer catches up here and I'm just going to try and even it out a little bit there too uh, that one was a little too dark so I'm going to back off of that just a little bit and then a little bit more there I don't think the breath needs enhancement and it's pretty cool all the little rainbow of colors you can see in there I love saying that. That's so neat. Um, boy, not much else to do with that. I kind of, like I said, I really like the wash and the, the like the lens flare, kind of less contrast, less detail down here. So where the perch is heavier and stronger, it's not grabbing my eye as much because I get better contrast and everything right in here. And uh, man, that's a smooth background there. So there we go. So there's the before and after in Photoshop let me save that and you know one last thing as I'm looking at it um, a little bit of the color and white balance since I went really warm just took some of the deep rich blue out of this bird like these birds are really kind of blue in the face so I'm gonna throw a, an adjustment layer on there just to bring some of that blue color back a little bit just paint some of that in 
and let's see before after yep that's subtle but it likes it does a good change for me so let me get that saved I'll go back to Lightroom and show you the entire before and after on that so here we'll just reset that so there's straight out of camera finished piece and I'm really happy with this one. The only thing that would have made this better is if the very, very slight wind was blowing this way and bringing the breath like forward out that way instead of drifting behind the bird. But you know, hey, it's a Northern Perula with its breath glowing in kind of a rainbow color there. I'm not gonna complain. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this edit and I hope you really like this photo. It's one I'm very, very proud of.